Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is a Theta update video, and this is going to be about my Elite Edge node earnings. And if you're interested in this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot. All right, getting right into this, uh, since this is the first video, I'm going to talk firstly a little bit about what is a Theta Edge node. And essentially, um, we'll go to the website here and check it out. So the main way um, that you, me, anyone watches video content on the internet right now. Uh, Theta does a good job of displaying it on, you know, their uh, website. And essentially it comes from a content creator who uploads it to a video platform. And then there's something called a centralized CDN. And just think about that as a warehouse full of computers and databases. And essentially it's just something that, you know, uh, receives an inquiry and then sends out video and then that inquiry uh, is from a viewer and then they receive you know streams from um the centralized cdn so theta's workaround is to you know get rid of the centralized cdn or not even get rid of but augment the centralized cdn with decentralized nodes and these nodes are called edge nodes and uh, edge node is nothing more than you know my laptop or your laptop and essentially once you download it then you just use the additional bandwidth from you know your internet and here in the USA, at least, most of us in larger cities, you know, we have decent internet, um, enough so that we can uh, essentially share, you know, our extra bandwidth and uh, essentially become a CDN on a much smaller scale. And that is what Theta is doing. So uh, with this picture, just remove the centralized CDN and then slap in edge node right there. And uh, edge node is, you know, just, using that extra bandwidth and then providing those video streams to viewers instead. How do you do this? Uh, it's actually really easy. So once again, on the Theta website, uh, once you go there, just scroll down a little bit and you can join the network. It's just this easy. So first there's a Theta Guardian node. Uh, we're not gonna do that one and I'll explain that a different time, but there is the Theta Edge node right here. And then you can just download it for your Windows, Mac OS or Linux device. Um, I won't go through the step by step. I can do that on a different video if you'd like. Uh, but once you get there, I will kind of talk you through, you know, the Theta token docs and uh, setting up the edge node. Uh, so essentially, uh, just, you know, recapping what I was saying, the edge node allows you to relay video streams over the Theta network and earn T-Fuel for doing so. Um, providing support to Theta.tv and other upcoming video platforms using the Theta network. Uh, with the latest update, you can now also broadcast your own video streams and have them distributed over the Theta Edge network. This allows you to stream entirely peer-to-peer -peer without any centralized CDNs involved or content delivery networks. So in a way, like I'm saying, uh, your laptop or your computer becomes its own little content delivery network. And because you're using your additional bandwidth, Theta um, is going to... Uh, reward you for you know relaying video streams with T Fuel, and that's essentially what's happening here. So to start the Edge node, like I said, you can download it, and then um, from there, uh, just a little note there: the software will automatically update to the newest version, and that just happened a couple days ago for me. And then once you launch the app, it'll look something like this. Um, there is one step above just being a Theta Edge Node worker. Um, there is something called an Elite Edge Node worker, and I will touch on that one in the second video, so stand by for that one. But for now, I think this is a good big picture overview of you know what the Theta network is doing with your computer. And from here, we can see transactions on the Theta blockchain. Uh, when you do get paid out, um, this isn't my wallet. This is just the overall Theta Explorer, but it will be from Coinbase. So uh, Theta Coinbase uh, will pay you for those video streams. And what I am going to show you is um, the uh, you know Coinbase payments that I've received. And I'll get to that in a second. So here is July. So I started um, my Theta Edge node in July, actually. And it's not the full month. So this one is a little skewed. Um, I will, in the next video, you know, I'll show you my August earnings. And uh, for this one, it started on the 9th of July. And you only get paid when you earn 5T fuel or more. And this one, I just so happen to earn 5 on the dot. It hasn't happened since then. But 
uh, it happened. And, uh, this is how many times I got paid from the 9th to the 24th. And then there was a big break between the 24th and the end of July, but sometimes that just happens. And like I was saying, you can see the front and, and then true two and the two is my, uh, wallet essentially. So total invested, this is a whole nother story too. I'll probably make another video of it, but <laughs> averaging out the different <laughs> time blocks of me investing into T fuel, uh, is approximately $3,500, uh, for me to earn that 10,000 T fuel in order to create an elite edge node. Um, so like I said, I might make a video on that one. That was a bunch of shenanigans. And once again, just recently getting into crypto. Um, but I averaged at around 3,500. The current price of T fuel, however, is three thousand or thirty three cents. Um, so it would be about three thousand three hundred dollars to uh, essentially meet the minimum of the ten thousand T fuel in order to create an elite edge node. And once we add everything up from the uh, month, um, you can see that I earned about forty five T fuel. Uh, so not too shabby. The number of transactions, we'll check that out. It was nine transactions from the ninth to the end of the month. And then the monthly USD earned. So I earned about 15 bucks, just shy of 15 bucks throughout the month of July. And, um, once again, first time doing it. So I was like, okay, you know, we'll see. It's not even the full month. Um, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, the return on the asset, uh, negative 5.71%. And my ROA, what I'm looking at is the asset of 10,000 T fuel is what I'm using as my asset. So I'm not too particularly concerned about the ROA. I'm more in it for passive income over the long term. Um, I know that's probably different than most people's point of view. Um, but definitely if I'm staked, I'm in it for, you know, the return on the asset is definitely important, but that is, you know, decades in the future is what I'm thinking. Uh, so I'm not too particularly concerned about this number right here right now, but yep. Like I said, uh, when I bought in, I averaged in around 35 cents and it, as of July was 33 cents. And then the return on investment is, uh, not even 1%, uh, not even half a percent. And that is the return on investment. Uh, so just 1497 and I put in $3,500 and this is just a monthly return on investment. So I am not too concerned about this uh, number whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, the APY average, um, essentially over the year, if I were to earn $14.97 throughout the year, and I put in, uh, I invested about $3,500. It would be a 5.13% uh, uh, APY, which is all right. I mean, it's nothing super spectacular. You can definitely get better APYs on um, Aave and other altcoins out there. But for something like Theta, I will definitely take it. And keep in account, this isn't even the full month. You know, it was a majority of the month, but not the full month. So the APY might be a little bit higher uh, the following month. And that is uh, essentially my earnings for July. And I think this is something good. If you guys like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely continue this trend and uh, show you my earnings month to month. And I just wanted to also update you quickly on the price of Theta and T Fuel today. I'll focus on T Fuel since this video is mostly about T Fuel, but the price is 28 cents. Now, uh, once again, that is below the average of when I bought into it originally, but like I said, I'm okay with that. 43% staked, um, which has been uh, about the average for a couple months now, and we have about 8,500 uh, elite nodes. And then just looking at some quick TA, not too huge into uh, TA, but always good to check out those levels of support and resistance. Um, looks like right now, uh, T fuel is just hanging out right at this la layer of, uh, it looks like it slightly dipped below uh, this zone of support right here. It might become a layer of resistance, but we'll see. Uh, these lines are not perfect, so I am not 
uh, going to bet all of my money is that, you know, it dipped below a layer of support or resistance. It's kind of just hanging out right there. So we will see. It can either go uh, one of two directions, up or down. I know, shocker. But uh, that is the TA for you. And once again, this is just my earnings that I earned in July from my Elite Edge node. Uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.